times in history, we would look over what had happened, of course, in the past. And um, sometimes my teacher would throw out a question like, what would you do in that situation? And is what this person is, the action that was taken by this person, was it right? Do you think it was right? They don't really teach you academic things. They teach you how to present yourself, like in a community. They teach you how to, you know, they teach you time management and just how to, you know, do all these different things at once. And so. They teach you life, mm -hmm. basically. But those teachers and administrators that, like, really look after you and say, you can come to my class anytime you want if you have a problem, those are the ones that we remember the most. And how will you be remembered? What will be your legacy with your students? Four years, classroom curriculum, sports, extracurricular activities, the list is almost endless. Four short years to teach and influence students to want to make a difference, to help them reach their academic potential and live lives of character. You as teacher have the awesome opportunity not only to teach the curriculum, but by infusing into the curriculum and modeling social-emotional skills and core ethical values such as integrity, you not only impart knowledge, but you help the students to foster within themselves a moral compass to guide them as they realize their potential. Students have within themselves the desire to live lives that matter, that will make a difference. And you, as teacher, being on the front line with them, can experience the joy and personal satisfaction of seeing the results of your caring, nurturing, and guidance in their lives as you lead them to achieve their dreams. And that is the goal of the Character Education Partnership, to support schools and staff members from the principal to the teachers to the janitors to the cafeteria workers to work together in building a culture of character to do what has just been expressed to nurture, guide, and care for the students, and to help them reach their full potential academically and to be men and women of integrity and character. Where character education has been part of school life, the results are obvious. I had one of my new teachers come in. She's been in the county a long time. And she was back the head of the English department at another school and came here and said, you know, I've never worked harder or ever, but never felt more fulfilled. And I think that's what it is. She said, I can teach here. It's expected that the kids will come in, will sit down, and will learn. And th those high expectations are very, very important. The kids know them. If I teach government, and we're talking about, um, you know, a national leader who is arrested, and, <laughs> you know, is that right? You know, why? Should he be a leader when we have, you know, we bring it up, is that a good person of character? Would you respect him? Why don't you respect him? Does he show us respect? That kind of thing. And it just comes up naturally in what you are talking about. Some of the key aspects of the Roosevelt Way are respect, responsibility, and honesty. Because in order to succeed, you really have to learn and you can't really ride on somebody else's coattails. The teacher that I have, um, she probably participated the most out of anyone in there and it was really exciting just to see that kids and adults can both interact and learn things from each other. You can be the fastest, the strongest, the most talented athlete in the country, but without character and without you know, academics, you're not going anywhere. It's just been a fascinating experience to be with the kids after school and see that the expectations of their behavior and their deportment and their character is carried on after school. It's an, it's an underlying theme which is reinforced constantly. So, so it's not just taught, you know, you have a day for character education and then you forget about it. It's, it's incorporated into the routine of your activities throughout the entire program. And that's what matters. It has to be consistent and it has to be an ongoing process. It can't just be discuss it one day and walk away. We've tried really hard to show our teachers research to show that character education in SEL actually raised test scores, that students who learn self-discipline and motivation, it's, they're going to achieve at a higher level. It just makes sense. Teachers, along with parents and the community, need to be involved with taking ownership of the social, emotional, and character development effort. 
modeling the core values to the students and as a team, respect and support one another to give a foundation to the further success of the program in your school. For you, the teacher who is on the front lines, admittedly, it takes hard work and commitment. But the rewards are seen in the lives of your students, in your school's climate, and in the way you support each other. The Character Education Partnership's quality standards and flexible framework will help you accomplish your goals and the goals of our democracy. To help our students reach their academic potential and become men and women of character and integrity. This can be your legacy, your enduring gift to our nation and the world.